Alright, peeps, what are we doing today? We are doing some shamanamanamanan in the... what is this? I don't know. We're in a dungeon. We're doing some shamanamanan. And, uh, yeah. What sparked my interest in the shamanamanan? Well, YouTube is a wonderful place. It really is. Uh, for a number of reasons. One, I meet people that I would not have normally met or known about, and all that other fun stuff, had it not been for YouTube. So yeah, so I woke up this morning and saw that I had a comment from a gentleman, and I said, alright, you know, thanks for the comment, you know, you take a look and you see what video they were looking at and fun stuff like that, and you're like, oh yeah, alright, that makes sense now. And, uh, yeah, so I took a look at that, and then I took a look and saw that he posts videos. Alright, so you know, you gotta check out their videos too, because you just want to see, you know, you compare the content, see the types of things you both are putting out, and stuff like that. Drop the healing stream, because I don't want to work that much. And, uh, yeah, and he's a crazy shaman PvPer, like Ellie Shaman. I didn't think Ellie Shaman was viable, and come to find out, he, he rips face on his Ellie Shaman, like I rip face on Praetusian. Yeah, kind of creepy. So yes, what are we doing today? I said, all right, he has rekindled my interest in the shamanamanamanan. Now let's take a look at how my shaman looks. I was gearing him for PvP anyway. Let's put down the healing stream. I think we're still focused on him. There we go. All right, so uh, as you can see, we were focused a little bit on PvP. I was planning to put him resto in the BGs because we've all run into those resto shamans and they're all like just freaking unkillable. Or the arenas, where, you know, you can get them down to, like, 5% health, but you can never kill them. So obnoxious. So, yeah. That's what we're doing today. Got the dancing bear. Let's see. What's the bear look like? Ah, oh, bear who's reef... Oh, no, he's doing hit expertise and dodge. Interesting. And he's jamming stam. Interesting choice. Not very survivable. Not a solo build, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So, some of you may ask, how does one heal as a shaman? Well, it's actually very simple, like all healers. You have your certain spells and abilities and fun stuff. First one in their arsenal is the Earth Shield. It protects the target with an earthen shield. Imagine that, a shaman with an earthen shield. Anywho. Uh, increase the effectiveness of healing spells on the target by 20% and causing attacks to heal the shielded target for blah blah, 9 charges last 10 minutes. Every time they're attacked, they lose a shield. This effect can only occur once every few seconds. There you go. So you keep that on the tank, you do 20% extra healing towards the tank. I'm not even watching, I'm just kind of spamming healing wave here. Um, yes, our other fun ability is Riptide. Think rejuvenation if you're into the druids or think renew if you're into the priests uh who's the other healer monk think renewing mist there you go so yes what does it do it heals a friendly target for x amount and another 50,000 over 20 seconds so it heals them briefly in the beginning and then that's a hot oh hang on people are dying because i'm totally not even paying attention <laughs> that's all right we'll put down the healing stream totem and go back to our little rotation here, little healing waves, rear shield the tank. You will notice you do have to earth shield more than you did in Kata, so there's your little note. But yes, it's a hot essentially. Keep it on people, smacks them real quick for a good amount of healing, and then turns into a hot, which is nice. This, oh no, it's macroed. See, this is the stuff I can't do, uh, blah, blah, blah if I do it in post, so yes. So we'll just do that, and that, and that. Where is it? Unleash elements, there it is. Oh, tank is looseness or shield here. Oh, did we kill everybody already? Awesome. Unleash elements focuses the elemental force imbued in the shaman's weaponry with concentrated effects depending on the enchantment unleashed. Now that's cool. We're just gonna pass because I don't even want the money off of it. Uh, now we've gotta go to weapon imbues. Unleashing this enchantment, because you're gonna be using your earth living weapon, 
We'll get into that one in a second. Uh, unleashing it heals the friendly target for X amount, but it also increases the effect of the shaman's next direct heal or healing rain by 30%. So you pretty much want to keep it on cooldown. Oh shit, my gear's almost broken. That's awesome. But yeah, I usually keep it on cooldown. Um, just kind of smack it, put the uh, riptide on, and it's all just it's happy days. It's happy days. So that's what that does. Now, what does the earth living weapon do? Oh, she haloed. Ah, uh, drop that, drop that, put that, there we go. Alright. Yeah, that's what happens if you halo down here, you get bats, just so you guys know. So what we'll do is we'll unleash our elements, and we'll put down a healing rain, and we'll hit her with a riptide, or a shim, or whatever it is, and then we can just go back to our rotation. Alright, so what does it do? What does it do? It increases your spell healing by up to 3,000, giving each heal a 20% chance to trigger the Earth Living effect. Oh, come on. Hey, sheesh. You gotta kill the bats. Alright, I'm just gonna give you the Earth Shield. Ah. Sorry, guys. This is what happens when you do live commentaries. Earth Living effect on the target heals... Do -do 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 an additional 18,000 over 10 seconds, single target healing below always triggers the effect. There you go. So that's what it does. It's good stuff, essentially. There we go. The abridged version. Bum bum bum. What else do we use? Healing wave at a whopping 6,000 mana. Not a whole lot. We can sit here and do this all day, even in our malevolent gear, and we'll be okay. So that's that. Now, you guys have seen shamans troll the healing meters with their totems. I'm sure you have, because it doesn't require a lot of effort for a shaman to troll the healing meters, especially in fights where everybody's all clumped up. So what does it do? It heals the healing stream, anyway. <coughs> heals the most injured party or raid member within 40 yards for 8,000 every 2 seconds. Healed allies take 10% less damage from frost, fire, and nature damage. Also a pretty cool thing, but I believe that is a glyph, if I am not mistaken. Yes, glyph of healing stream totem. When your healing stream totem heals an ally, it also reduces their fire, frost, and nature damage for 10% for 6 seconds. So what are we doing? What are we doing? We're just coming in here and we're keeping our earth shield on the tank and we're riptiding and we're healing waving. Think. Alright, I don't know the age range of my audience. I don't. Some of you may understand this, and some of you won't. Bob Ross. Bob Ross used to be a painter on TV. And he used to be like, happy little trees and happy little healing waves. And that's all you do with the shaman. Happy little healing waves. Happy little healing waves. That's it. I don't think my mana's gone under 90%. And if it has, shame on me. Because I actually had to do something. Shamans also have this other fun ability. We have totems out the ass, first of all, so don't get me started on the totems. Read the tooltip, find out for yourselves. Just kidding. But, we have the Spirit Link totem, which, you know, notorious for... Why do I have aggro? Really? I get hit by the Skulker. Oh, you silly bear. Alright, hang on. So we're gonna drop our healing stream totem. We're gonna hit everybody with a healing wave. Then we're gonna riptide. Then our healing waves will be faster. Oh, I forgot to talk about that. No troll face. Ah, but the good news is, is we're doing this live. And this is why I don't do it typically live, because... Ba -ba -ba, I screw shit up. Alright, spirit link totem DS. Think DS. Think, you know, it's this thing here. There we go. That's your healing stream totem. Shares health with everybody. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, we've all seen it before, now you know what it does. There's the tool. Cool. Okay, now everybody's like, wow, that guy's such a scrub, he just blew a spirit like totem when no damage went out. But that's what that does. Um, ba ba ba. Healing Tide Totem? Think Tranquility, pretty much, for druids. Uh, think, not the Hymn of Hope, the Hymn of... The Hymn of Oh Shit is what I call it, but I'm all my holy priest. I forget what it's called. But anywho, it's your oh shit heal. Here, we'll stop healing people for a minute and I will show you what it does. Ba -ba -ba. Keep your water shield on too. This is so garbled. I don't I can't believe I'm gonna put this out. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Go ahead and talk and roll. Uh huh. Tells you how many, uh. Why won't anybody take damage? Jesus Christ. Ah. <clears throat> there we go. Nah, do, 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 do. Thank you. Oh, who's gonna get trolled, son? Everybody but the shaman, I'm on. Everybody but the shaman. Everybody but the shaman. You can't troll me, son. I invented trolling. No, I'm just kidding. I hate trolls. Hmm. Here we go. Gives us time to talk about shit anyway. But this is essentially your tranquility. Your healing tide totem. It's awesome sauce. Keep your water shield on. And why do you want to do that? Because, watch this. My mana regen with the water shield. 13k. Turn it off. 11 and 8. Put it on. 13 and 11. There. That's pretty much it. You want to keep it on? It increases your mana regeneration rate. Holy freaking ancient potions. Volcanic potions? Really? Wow. Man. DS days. DS days. Alright, we also have a grading healing wave. Chain heal. Think. Chain heal. What would you think of chain heal as? Hmm. Think of it like Prayer of Mending, but it hits everybody all at once. Kind of. Yes. Here, I'll show you. It does this. Do do do. Bing. And then it hits at everybody who needs the healing. Up to, I think it's a few people. Heals a total of four targets. There we go. All right. So here we go. Here's a good time to do it. Bum ba da ba. Chain heal and poof. Heals everybody a little bit. Heals everybody a little bit. Everybody gain. No, I'm just kidding. <coughs> Dude, waking up and making videos is always a bad idea, but I don't care because I saw somebody else's video about the shaman and I was like, dude, I was going to show you guys some badass Ellie shit and then I was like, fuck, I forgot I queued as a healer all the time because I hate cues. So I heal or tank on every class that can to reduce my ability to be aggravated. Uh, Stone Bulwark Totem, that's pretty much PvP related, that's the only reason I have that. Let's go do my talents. Typically, I would use Nature's Guardian because I like passives. Think of Angelic Bulwark for the Priest. That's essentially what it is. Except uh, whenever a damaging attack brings you below 30% health, your maximum health is increased by 25% for 10 seconds, and your threat level towards the attacker is reduced. The effect cannot more occur more often than every 30 seconds. So there you go. So it's not really a shield per se, but it increases your health, and with shamans, with the lower health you are, uh, the more healing you do. That is part of there. Deep healing. I know it's deep healing. I know it is. We gotta go into the spell book here. We gotta go into the spell book, not profession. It's called deep healing, people. Deep healing. Yeah, mastery. Increases the potency of your healing spells by up to 57% based on the current level health level of the target, lower health targets are healed for more. So that's what that does. So the lower health you are, by increasing your healing, you're actually getting more healing out of it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, these freaking things. Everybody wants to have aggro on them. Awesome. So we'll just pop some chain of those. Oh, that's what I didn't talk about. I didn't talk about this. Every time you Riptide, you get a thing called Tidal Waves, and Tidal Waves, cast time of your next healing wave or greater healing wave is reduced by 30%. Critical effect chance of your next healing surge is increased by 30%. So, if I just do a regular healing wave now, you can see how long it takes. Now, if I give him a Riptide, 30% faster. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We will stand behind him. Everybody's gonna get smacked with that. Scrubs. Ah, uh, frickin' priest. Useless sack of garbage. Uh, oh my god, you're tanking him in the frickin' corner, bro? Really? Alright, so I guess we'll do it this way. <laughs> oh, I didn't move the mic. I'm sorry, peeps. I don't know if that's still works. 
there used to be a thing with Riptide. Now, I don't know where the tooltip is. I don't know where it would be, but it would in... Oh, we're going in the air. Yeah, we are. All right, so perfect time for holy shit totem. This is our holy shit totem. We are not healing, people. We are not healing. Hands are off the keyboard. That's your holy shit totem. Yay. Look at the heals. Look at the heals. And look what I'm doing. Nothing. Nothing. All right, so we'll put our healing stream totem down. We'll put our rain down, which we uh, increased with our unleashed elements and all that fun stuff. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. There used to be a thing that if you used Riptide and then chain heal the target that had Riptide on it, it increased the effectiveness or something like that. If cast on by the heal, will jump to other minute. Each heal reduces the effectiveness of the heal by 30%. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if they did it anymore. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Something I haven't talked about since I've been having diarrhea of the mouth today. Ascendance. Three minute cooldown. Think tree form if you're comparing it to any other classes. Restoration. While in the form of water ascendant, all healing done is duplicated and distributed evenly among nearby allies. And the cool thing is, you look like this. You're like, dude, I'm a water ascendant. Bang! Duplicated. Greater healing wave. Duplicated. Duplicated. Now, it would also be sharing this among all allies. So you can see the little 7Ks. Just make sure that's not my Earth living ticking. Turn that off. That might be my Riptide. But anyway, the Shaman, awesome healer. Very, very versatile. I'm such a scrub, I never used that. Oh no, where is it? I had something else. I had another totem down there. It's their electrical damage totem thingy. But whatever, the Resto Shaman, very fun. Um, now, if you guys want to take a look at the gentleman in question that sparked my interest, his name is Jonas Nilsson, and he makes videos. I will link to him in the description in the bottom. He was my inspiration for this video today, although I didn't plan on going Resto. I planned on going Ellie. And for good shaman videos, especially PvP, give him a check out. Uh, like if you like him, subscribe if you want to subscribe to him and get his videos. Only like 30 of you want to get my videos. But that's okay, because it's the 30 that matter. Ha, ah, I just trolled everybody else that doesn't uh, want to watch my videos. Since it's the end of the video, a uh, quick update on Dan. He has been unconscious for seven days, but he finally woke up yesterday. Good sign, he actually sat up for two or three minutes, uh, all the willy stuff, executors and powers of attorney have been returned to him as a fully functioning human being, so he may need a heart pacer, he's had many a heart surgery and he may need one more, but I think we're through with it for now. These are my talents, these are the glyphs, thank you guys for your support during the, uh, during the tough time, and the videos will resume on a normal schedule, probably starting again this weekend. They'll come out sporadically until then. Well, we sort out everything with my father and fun stuff like that. So, the shaman, if you want to see Ellie, let me know. I'll probably do it anyway, because the shaman's just so damn fun. You turn into a wolf, you jump around, you, you're a maniac. It's good stuff. Those are the glyphs that I'm running with. Glyph of Healing Wave also heals you for 20% of the healing effect when you heal someone else. Less heals I gotta put on myself. Think like a baby bacon of light on yourself, except not. Uh, Teleric Currents, Telendric Currents, I don't know why, I've heard people say that a hundred different ways. I use that, uh, typically, <clears throat> I don't know why. Mana's not really an issue, as you guys saw, but anywho. Uh, Totemic Encirclement, uh, that's mostly for PvP, so they've gotta pick one of four to kill. Hmm. Water walking wall in ghost form. And your chain heel now has a watery appearance. But, thank you peeps, this video was longer than usual. Holy mother of spam. Alrighty then. Alright peeps, I will talk to you later, and thanks again. Catch you next time.